It's not something many of us like talking about, but what you're flushing down your toilet is helping researchers in the Valley track COVID-19. The I-team's David Charns got an inside look at how scientists are using what's in the sewer to get a better idea of what's happening above ground. Everybody does it. I don't think it's something that uh, somebody thinks about when they, they flush the toilet, but it, there's definitely value to what's going down the toilet. From toilet to treatment, what we're putting in the sewer is helping scientists track spikes in coronavirus before they're identified. Principal research scientist Daniel Garrity is the one with the dirty job. Yep, every Monday. So every I week, it's him days. and two gallon jugs at the Flamingo Resource Center, a sprawling facility handling 100 million gallons of our sewage a day. But the sample Garrity takes to his lab is just a snapshot, a moment in time. A pinch from the plumbing. So as cases go up, our wastewater concentrations go up, and then as cases go down, our wastewater concentrations go down. Here's why. While we think of coronavirus as primarily affecting our lungs, parts of the virus cause secondary infections, and that's what shows up in what we flush. It basically gives us an opportunity to swab the entire community all at one time. Take a look at those swabs on this chart from the start of the pandemic to now. The blue bars represent new cases. The green dots, how much COVID is in Garrity's samples. He and his team predicted a spike in cases in June before testing, then validated those cases. The same thing happened after Thanksgiving and Christmas. Let's say over the past month, it's increased at least tenfold across the board. And that's a pretty big jump from what we've seen since we started. Researchers are also finding fewer cases of other contagious diseases, suggesting what we're doing to prevent COVID is pulling double duty. And so the normal illnesses, diseases that people get, we don't see that as much because people are being more cautious to try to prevent themselves from getting COVID-19. For now, Garrity will keep his Monday routine. As Mother Nature calls, this scientist will continue to study what we're leaving behind. Wastewater is often viewed as something disgusting that people just want to go away. But it actually, from a scientific perspective, it gives us a window into the community. Part of that window is tracking other viruses, even opioid misuse or how much caffeine we're drinking. Researchers over at UNLV are also studying these samples, focusing on the makeup of the virus and tracking any mutations. Now, all of this research will become even more important as more of us get vaccinated to determine just how effective the vaccine is and is going to be. I'm David Charns, 8 News Now.